Hey, hope you're having a great Thursday. Jordan Trask here, and I'm just kind of sitting here enjoying this beautiful Mississippi weather today, thinking of different ways that I can create new content to help business owners uh, better understand the foundational elements of their business, right? I think when everybody starts a business, there's all this noise out there, especially on the internet. This is what you need to do first. This is what you need to do last. This is how you make money, yada, yada. But what I'm really focused on is the branding element, right? The identity element, the culture, allowing businesses to build and sustain something that's bigger than their ability to make money, right? And so when it comes to the foundational elements, it really got me to thinking a lot of business owners, a lot of entrepreneurs, they aspire for things and they start off by just opening a physical location. And so it made me think of a little bit of a catchphrase here to throw at you. Before you tidy up your location or before you open or build a location, make sure it's your vocation, right? Let me say that again. Before you open or build a location, make sure it's your vocation. Now, if you look up that word, that term, what it means is it's like a calling. It's something that you're made for. It's something that you're competent to do, right? And I think whenever you're looking at a brand, a household brand that you want to establish in your community, maybe eventually regionally, nationally, you have to start somewhere. You have to start with that core foundation. And if you're not even competent, if it's not even something that you want to do, why are you going to invest a lot of money in a location? There's so many things that you can do first that people tell you to do first that you really don't even need to do. A storefront, for example, is maybe that over-the-top initiative or ambition, but even your website, creating flyers, signs, doing billboards, internet ads, stuff like this, if you don't have your stuff together before you're doing that or a straightforward message that resonates with people, not just people, but your ideal target audience, the people that will value you the most, your brand the most, but also something that people can digest, right? I think a lot of times we talk at people, a lot of times we try to cram data, we convolute our website, we pay too much for a design. We have the best, most memorable business cards, right? But we don't have that memorable experience. We don't have that memorable value. We don't have that competency that jumps off the page, right? We don't have that first impression where we meet somebody, that confidence that allows them to say, dang, I don't really know what this dude does, but I could feel his passion. I can feel his presence. Those are the things that business owners, entrepreneurs, young people especially need to work on and focus on. It's not the sales pitch. It's not making the most noise. It's not being the loudest. It's not being the most visible, colorful, sporadic, flamboyant business out there, right? It's not just about standing out visually. It's about standing out emotionally. It's about being able to tap into other people's emotions and get them to believe in you. So before you build a location, make sure it's your vocation. If you don't have a vocation, if you're not certain what that is, maybe you're feeling down that you don't know what your purpose is, talk to somebody. It's one of the services that I offer that I don't even charge for to just sit down with somebody and pick your brain. I mean, a lot of people don't realize that I learn a lot. I learn a lot from people by sitting down and just talking to them. And that's a vocation that I have. It's something I'm passionate about. I wanna listen. I want to hear your story. I want to help you put it into a story that people can understand and to make sense of it, to be able to communicate it, to be able to show people, you know, where you've been and where you're going, not to boast, not to put yourself on a pedestal, but to elicit a way to help them, right? In business, that's what it's all about. Helping people, being valuable, being valued, being recognizable, not because you're cool or you look cool or you want to be cool, but because there's a purpose behind what you do and people appreciate you. You know, that's one thing that's really undervalued today in the marketplace, it's not acceptance, it's appreciation. Before you open that location, you spend all the money on the design, the layout, the aesthetics, right? The details. Before you even have anybody in the store, right? Make sure you have a foundation. Make sure you establish your identity. Make sure you talk to somebody that can help you put it on paper and make sure you talk to somebody that can help you communicate it so that you can fill that store or that website because real estate isn't just physical anymore. It's online and make sure the real estate that you're paying for isn't just that cheap spot that allows you to open this door because so many factors in starting a business, guys. Why I said this could be a podcast episode. Be purposeful with everything you do and always remember to pre-focus.